Hello everybody and welcome, it's good to have you with us. It started snowing outside so it's all very exciting here today. Um, I'm Debbie, this is my studio, we've got Russell here who's our cameraman, he's the one who's made all this happen. Um, I can't see you but I can kind of imagine you out there so give us a wave. We've got 42 people watching. Oh apparently we've got quite a few people watching, And, and if good. they want to comment Debbie they can and then we can bring it on. Right, Russell says if you want to comment you can, although no rude words. So. We're going to have fun today. What we're going to do is we're going to learn to draw faces, which is what we call portraits. And being able to draw faces, I think, is just the best thing ever. Now, if you think about it, anybody who can draw a circle, well, they can draw a flower. Anybody who can draw a square, they can draw a house. But faces, much more difficult. It's a really special thing to be able to do. So today, I'm going to make it really easy for you. I'm going to give you lots of little tips and tricks that's going to make you able to do it. Now, first thing we're going to do is if you've got a bit of paper there and a pencil, I want you to do just maybe five minutes, just do a little drawing, do a drawing of a portrait. Anyone in your house, apart from the dog, of course, that wouldn't work. Do a little portrait and then we can come back to it and compare and change things and help you learn from that. So five minutes, do a drawing, anyone in the house, Okay, and we'll see you in five minutes. Okay, I'm going to have to sort some music. <laughs> Russell's going to sort some music should out. We show them the, should we show them this to prove we're live? Okay. Uh, should we show them some gardens? The snow's coming down. Oh, here. Russell's going to show us the garden. I've <laughs> uh, got Rhea, Rhea and Logan are here. We've All got, right, okay. Um, we can say hello to Lynette Webster. Hello, Lynette. Hello, Rhea. Hello, Logan. Um, uh, who else have we got? We've got loads of comments coming in. Oh, we've got comments coming yeah. in as well. <laughs> Unfortunately, if they haven't clicked the, some of the names don't come up because they haven't, they won't have clicked the. Okay. Thing, okay. But, um, yeah. I'll, right. I'll so five minutes off you go. Let's get a let's get a drawing done. Doesn't matter if it's good or bad. In fact, the worse the better, really, because then we can work on it. All right. Off you go. We've got. I'll put some music on now. I didn't think it was going to be the, the, that soon. They can, people can still hear us out in space. But that. <laughs> right. So this is uh, we can talk while while they're doing their drawing. But this is this is part one of part of two of part. Yeah, they can hear. Yeah, so it's, so this so we can tell them that part two comes next week. Okay. That's right. Yeah, they can still hear us talk. <laughs> right. And they're still talking to us. Holly's watching from <laughs> Guernsey. Wow, we got someone from Guernsey. That's and good. Guy's busy drawing. Good, good on your phone. <laughs> Josh and Annabelle, I don't know. I can hear you. I can hear you talking still. Even though yeah, we're, we're still talking as yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. So I sort the music. So if you've just tuned in, we're just having five minutes now where I've asked people to do a drawing. And what we're going to do is we're going to use that drawing to work on later. So we're just having five minutes now where hopefully you can do a drawing, do a portrait of someone in your house or even yourself. And then when you've done that, we can look at the general mistakes people make. Uh, normally, um, there's five key mistakes people make. And we'll have a look, see if we can help you improve on those five things. All right. Looking forward to it. I've got it. Debbie, Deb Freer is watching. Hello from the sledges. The sledges will probably appreciate the garden shot with the snow coming down. <laughs> Very good. <laughs> it's not quite sledgy with the air. I'm just going to get some music in the background. Okay. I just wasn't quite prepared. Hope you're all drawing away there. Don't let anyone distract you. Concentrate. You've just got five minutes to do a portrait. Five minutes. How are we doing for time, Russell? We'll just play a bit of music. We've got three or four minutes. Okay, three or four minutes. Thank <laughs> you. 
how it's possible to do this. come up to the Okay, how are you doing? Have you done your portrait? Is that five minutes, Russell? Yeah, that's fine. Five minutes, right, okay. So, tear that off. Oh dear. <laughs> Hopefully now, you've got your portrait in front of you. Now, let's go through it and let's see what there is we can improve upon, okay? Now, as I said, there's five major mistakes that kids make. Although it's not just kids, the adults are worse than you lot, actually, kids. So there's about five general major mistakes. And let's go through some of them. One of the first ones is the shape of the face. So if you can see here, this is an oval shape, this face. But look, kids often draw it as a round circle. I love this painting. It's great. It's really lively. But really, if you want to go for realism, you need to make your face oval shaped. That's the first one. The next problem is often children put the eye, well and adults, put the eyes too high up. Look at that. Can you see? They've all put the eyes right at the top of the head. But if you look at this lady, between there and there, where do the eyes come? Look. <laughs> Halfway down. Okay? So the eyes are not at the top of the head. They're halfway down. Another thing that people do is they don't quite get the eyes in the right place. So between the eyes is the size of one eye. So if you can imagine there's another eye there, that helps you how to space the eyes apart. So first of all, you need an oval for your face, not a circle. Secondly, you need the eyes halfway down, okay, instead of up near the top. And you need to position the eyes so that they're far enough apart that just one more eye could fit in between them. Right, now the next thing, the nose. Let's have a look, where do we put the nose? So, whoop, drop the pencil. Okay, so the eyes are halfway down. We're going from there to there. And in between the eyes and the chin, okay, halfway down is the nose. So look, between the eyes there and the chin there, halfway down is the nose. So you position your nose halfway between the eyes and the chin. Now, something people do when they're drawing noses is they kind of put a hard line round it like that. You don't need to do that because there's no hard lines really, it's just shade. The only hard lines need to be this bit. So I'll do a drawing in a minute to show you. But the next thing is the nose. No hard lines coming down, just hard lines here at the bottom. Okay, so we've got the shape of the face, we've got where the eyes come, we've got where the nose comes, and now what about the lips? Right, very few people get the lips in the right place. If the eyes are halfway down, if the nose is halfway between the eyes and the chin, okay, would you think the lips would then be halfway between the nose and the chin? Ha, you'd like to think so, wouldn't you? But God got that one so wrong. These are not halfway between there and there. These are higher up. The lips come a third of the way between the nose here and the chin. So there's the chin, there's the nose. And look, if you divide it into three, that's where the lips come. All right, so a quick recap. Oval for the face, halfway down for the eyes, a space of one eye, 
between the two. Then between the eyes and the chin, halfway down to here, that's where the nose comes. We don't need to draw sort of hard lines like that round the nose, makes it look a little bit silly. Just draw the bottom of the nose. Then a third of the way down here, we have the lips. And again, you don't need to draw all of the lips in like they have there. We'll look at this next week. You just need to draw maybe the top lip and then a little line underneath. All right. And then the next one, this chap here, he's got his ears beneath the nose. But actually, look, the ears come level with your eyebrows and level roughly with the bottom of the chin. Obviously, everybody's um, varies, but we're just looking at generals here. So there's your ears. OK, so just recap for you. First of all, we have an oval for the shape of the face. Then halfway down, we have the eyes with the space of one eye between them. Halfway between the eyes and the chin, we've got your nose, and we just need to draw the bottom of the nose. We don't need to draw lines, okay? A little cross there, so you know that we don't draw lines. And then the silly one that should be, if God had got it right, halfway between there and there should be the mouth, but no, God must have had an off day when he made humans. It's only a third of the way down. There we are, look, one, two, three spaces and on the third line there that's where your lips go and then ears here we are look ears again level with your eyebrows and your nose okay so let me draw that for you and then we're going to have a go at drawing it yourself Russell somewhere there's a great big chunky oh there it is I've got it haha <laughs> right so here we go number one First of all, we don't have a circle for the face, do we? We have more of an oval shape, all right? Now, everybody's face is going to differ. Russell here is a bit fatter than mine. I'm going home now. <laughs> I didn't come here to be called fat. But... <laughs> so, Russell's is fatter than mine. Colin's in the kitchen. His is thinner than mine. They are going to vary, but what we're doing now is we're looking at a general idea just to teach you so generally we have an oval for the face right number one number two we don't have let's put no here and yes here right we don't have the eyes at the top do we we have the eyes do you remember where were the eyes I can hear them shouting out Russell I can hear them shouting out here are the eyes halfway down okay it's a bit of a funny oval this never mind now, the nose, where does the nose go? Can you hear them shouting, Russell? <laughs> <laughs> right, the nose, remember, comes halfway. There we are. We just do it like that. Put some eyebrows. All right. And then the mouth, if you remember, was a third of the way down. There we go. All right. I'm drawing the eyes closed for now because next week, we're going to go on and do things like drawing eyes. It'll get too complicated if we do it today. Today, we're just looking at general proportions. So let's just put some hair on. Okay. And then we'll put some ears. If you remember, they're kind of between the eyebrows and the nose. All right. Now, can you see already... We've got the general shape of a face and we've got it right. Once we've learnt where these go, then you're going to be able to do your drawings and get things in the right place. So, how about you do a drawing? Follow along with me and we'll do a drawing trying to get everything in the right place. So, get another piece of paper. If you haven't got any Nicky out your dad's printer. <laughs> <laughs> Can I just make a comment? You can make I, a comment, I, I'm, Russell. I'm not, I'm not an, an artist at all, but I, I do try and do faces. And when I'm trying to get the oval shape, yeah. I don't just 
like you did then, I don't just go one go. I go lots well, of times. That is a good comment. And try and, and try and get the best line of the lots of lines. That is a good comment. And what I would normally do, I would normally, I'm drawing in a thick felt pen today so you guys could see. But normally, if I was drawing an oval, I would sort of sketch it a few times like that. And then when I'd got the right shape that I thought was right, then I would commit to it and I would decide. So, yeah, you don't need to just dive in with a, that was a good comment, Russell. You don't need to dive in with a big heavy felt pen that I'm doing today. You can you can just sort of feel it out with a pencil first. All right. As I said, today I'm just doing it with a felt pen so that you can see what I'm doing. Can I make another comment? Russell, Russell? another comment from Russell. Go, um, Russ. When you do your halfway eyes. Yes. It's okay for people like me who've got no hair, but some people <laughs> can have a big bow font of hair. Yes. And, and uh, remember, it's the top of the hair. It's not the top of yeah. the hair. So if you, who's that singer at the moment? She's got like, is it Celeste or something? She's got massive hair. Phil Collins. Phil Collins, yes. Yeah. <laughs> so that is a good point. If the person had masses of hair, you wouldn't, say a hair was all up here, you wouldn't go from the top of the hair to the bottom. No, you go from the top of the head. Good comment, Russell. So... Follow along with me. You've got your paper. Yeah. You've got your pencil. You've got your rubber. All right. Here we go. Let's start then with an oval. Okay, everybody draw an oval. Fill your paper nice and big. Don't do it too small in the middle. Okay. So start off. Number one, you draw your oval. Okay. Think we've got all our ovals going, Russell? Yeah. Now, where do I put the eyes? Remind me. Russell, were you listening? Where did the eyes go? Uh, halfway down. <laughs> hey, halfway down. So again, if you were just using a pencil, you could just sort of sketch it loosely first to try and work out where you wanted it to be. And then when you're ready, you just commit to putting your eyes. And what was the secret about how much space we leave between the eyes? Can you remember? Russell, go, Russ. I knew he was here for a reason. Go on, then. It's an eye. Right. The equivalent of an eye between the eyes. <laughs> He's useful. He's only supposed to be the damn cameraman. Well done, Russ. <laughs> yeah, you leave the width of an eye between the two eyes. All right? And as I said, I'm drawing them shut today, and we'll learn how to draw them open next week. So there's the eyes halfway down. Right, the nose. So we've got between there and there. Where are we going to put the nose? I could use Russell as my stooge again. Russell, where do we put the nose? Oh, we're listening. Half, halfway between halfway. the nose. <laughs> I was hoping to catch him out there. So halfway between the eyes and the chin, let's put in the oh, nose. Yeah. Now remember what I said about you didn't need to draw a round face. You didn't need to draw the eyes high, but you also didn't need to put lines like that round the nose. Later on, when we learn about shading, we'll make the nose happen by shading it in, but there's no kind of hard lines round your nose. So for now, we just put the nose in like that, just these bits, all right? Now the mouth. So, Russell, I put the mouth halfway between the nose and the chin, do I? No, you don't. <laughs> you go to thirds now. <laughs> you go to thirds. So a third of the way between there and there, higher than the middle, we put the mouth. And God did that to protect you, so when you're eating food, you can smell it as you eat it. <laughs> Is that right? I think so. <laughs> don't quote me on your biology lessons, guys. <laughs> Actually, that's a good way of remembering. If you remember, kids, smell your food. God made the mouth higher so you could smell your food. That's a good way of remembering it. Oh, I knew Russell was here for a reason. Okay, I'm going to pop in some eyebrows. Now, the ears went. People's ears do actually vary, but ears go between your eyebrows and your nose. Okay? So. What we've got at the moment is we've got the oval shape, which you've all drawn. Then, have you drawn your eyes in? Halfway down. Then have you drawn your nose in? Halfway between there and there. And then have you drawn your lips in? Slightly higher so that you can smell your food. <laughs> That's a good one. And then, put your ears in. 
How's everybody doing? Any comments, people, from people, Russell, on how they're doing? They're just saying great tips, uh, brilliant, and people are still saying hello. So, <laughs> um, the people are still saying hello. They should be ashamed. They should have been here half an hour someone ago. Someone was criticising my camera work, which is a fair comment. So I've come, <laughs> in, I've come in close on a lot of it, so it's it, oh, the I see. face okay. the screen. Yeah. Right, so kids, that's what you should have. Let's give him or her a neck. Let me gender fluid here. So that is your general proportions that hopefully if you learn those, when you come to do faces, you'll be able to get things in the right place rather than what children often do, which is get them in the wrong place. And adults, adults get them in the wrong place as well. So let's give this person some hair. Okay, nice little haircut there. All right. Bethan's doing great. Bethan's doing great. Good on you, Bethan. Right. So what you should have now, kids, is a drawing that you followed me doing of the right proportions of a face. OK, now this is where it gets difficult. <laughs> what I'm going to do now is I'm going to give you five minutes again. And this time you're going to go back and do like the portrait you did at the beginning, but you're going to do it again now. But this time, hopefully, you will know exactly where everything goes. So by all means, draw the eyes, do whatever it was you did at the beginning. But this time, you know that you're going to put them in, hopefully, exactly the right place. So halfway down there, then halfway between there and there for the nose, and then a third of the way down for the mouth. Remember ears here, look. Okay. So hopefully that should give you a guideline. Russell, can we leave that up on yeah. the screen? Yeah. All right. Don't copy the way I've done it with the eyes shut. Draw it the way you drew your first one. Okay. And then we'll have five minutes now. Is five minutes enough, do you think, Russell? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. We'll have five minutes now. Get your piece of paper. Have a go at drawing like you did your first portrait, but this time you're going to draw things in hopefully exactly the right place. All right, five minutes. Get some music, Russell. <laughs> Russell tells me you've got two minutes. 
Okay, this is your work now. We're just trying to get the things that you draw in the right place. Just gonna, we've got a message from Pauline, is it Maiden or Madden? Oh, Pauline Madden. Madden. Daisy's doing so well. Oh, good on you, Daisy. I hear you're doing well. What are the comments we've got in, Russell? The sledges are doing good. Sledges are doing good. Good on you, sledge family. Fern is learning lots about drawing faces. Oh, I'm glad you're learning, Fern. That's good. I've got a picture of Fern's up in my bedroom. It's fantastic. It's a drawing she did of um, a lion. It's brilliant. Okay, how are we doing for time then, Russell? I think we're back on now. We're back on. Is the five minutes up, Russ? Yeah, that's right. Oh, okay, kids. So, pencils down. Right. What you should have now in front of you is your drawing that you did first of all before we had any teaching. So that's there. Then throw away the one that you used copying when you were copying me. And now put next to it the drawing that you've just done now that you know where things go. So you should have your two pictures in front of you now. And can you see the difference? Is there an improvement? Ask mum and dad, see what they say. Oh, Evie Grace is oh, doing great. Evie Grace, oh hi Evie Grace. Claire's, Je Jeff Cott has said I love it. Oh good, 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 um, good, good comments. Um, We've got one here from Victoria Bailey. Alfie and Daisy's second drawing is looking so much better. Excellent. Tip. Oh, that's great. So apparently your second drawings are looking so much better than your first drawings then. Is that right, Russell? That's what they're saying. Brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. Mission accomplished. Now, what we'll do, what I'd like you to do actually is take a photograph of your first painting, your drawing, and your second drawing together and then upload it to the site. That would be really good just to see how you've made a difference. Now, what we're going to do is end with a bit of a quiz. Okay. Yeah, Russell, there's an original friendly for you. So, <laughs> this is now available on eBay. <laughs> Did yeah. you autograph it? <laughs> right. So let's have a little bit of a quiz. Okay. First question, which one of these? Circle. Oval. Which one of these is the right shape for drawing a face? Of course, I can hear you all shouting. It's this one, isn't it? Okay, next question. What is this shape called? Russell, can you remember? It's like a rugby ball shape. <laughs> it's like a rugby shawl shape. There's a word for it. <laughs> next question. How far down this shape? Are we going to put our eyes? Are we going to put them number one, number two, or number three? One, two, or three. Where are we going to put the eyes? Good. Hope you've got the right answers there. Next one. Let's put in those eyes. Okay. Do you remember why I said I'm just drawing them closed today? Just because we're going to work on eyes next week. What's the secret? For how far apart the eyes should be? Yes, yes. <laughs> There's a little trick there. What was the little trick that I taught you for how far apart the eyes should be? Can you remember that one? Okay. Now, remember, shout out, where does the nose go between the eyes and the chin? Is it a quarter, a half, three quarters, or right at the bottom? I can hear them shouting, Russ. I can, there must be windows open in the village. Yeah, they're shouting on here as well. Got, Are they shouting? We've got Tim Thurston answering. We've got Victoria answering. Have you got that? <laughs> um, yeah, eye in the middle. Are they giving the right answers, oh, though? Yes. Are oh, they right? 
What are they saying for the answers, Russ? And I, we've got a real posh one here. And I whipped the part. And I whipped the part. That's Victoria absolutely Bailey. right. Well done, Victoria Bailey. So back to the nose then. As you know, the nose comes halfway between there and there. And why did I say don't draw the lines in for the nose like that? Can anybody remember? Any answers? Oh, <laughs> <laughs> Any answers coming up there, Russell? <laughs> Not yet. We'll remember they're okay. just slightly behind us. They're oh, that you're a bit behind there. us, are you? Twenty okay. seconds behind us. So oh, all those, right then. Those, let's, let, let's give them time to let those come in. Okay, we'll get answers. So we yeah. seem to have the answers right about the eyes. We seem to have the answers right about the space between the eyes. Did they all come up with the right answers, Russell, about oh, this yes. the we've shape? Got, we've got ovals and all sorts of things. Ovals, yeah. We didn't get yeah. any rugby ball comments. So. You didn't get any rugby ball comments. All right. So the okay, next... Okay, oh, hang on, we've got an answer. So the answers are coming down the nose, so... Nose, the answer Kelly is... Kelly said we don't have hard lines there. Excellent, we don't have hard lines there, do um, we? That's excellent, yeah. Because it's you... wrong, we've got an answer because it's wrong. Because it's wrong. <laughs> so we don't do it like that. And we just... And we've got someone saying for shading. For shading and then later on when i teach you about shading by shading the picture that's how we'll make the nose happen okay right now the lips remember the eyes were halfway down the nose was halfway between the eyes and the chin so do i put the mouth in halfway between the nose and the chin do i put the mouth in halfway here between the nose and the chin so i've got to wait 20 seconds have i russell for the answers to come in <laughs> Facebook land is 20 seconds behind. Yes, uh, I didn't realise that. Yeah. Okay. So I'll just go ahead, shall I then, Russell, and just draw this halfway between the two. I don't think so. You don't think so? Oh, we've got somebody, oh, saying, we've got somebody go. coming in with answers now. Answers. Um, a third. A third. Well done. And Russell gave us the best reason ever why it was a third. What was? Here's a question. What was Russell's <laughs> reason <laughs> that he said why God had put the mouth Higher up, nearer the nose. Give it 20 seconds for that answer to come in, Russell. I'm going to remember that. Every time I teach this tutorial now, I'm going to give Russell's reason. Okay. While we're just waiting for the answers to come in, just going to put a little bit of a little bit of hair there. And I'll put in some eyebrows. Someone's written. Oh, we've got an answer. Someone's written smell. Smell. <laughs> So you can smell your bacon sandwich. So you can smell your bacon sandwich. <laughs> so remember the lips are not halfway down, they're a little bit higher up because, as Russell said, God did that so that you could smell your food. All right? <laughs> then the ears, do I put them here? Mm, here, tell me when to stop. Mm, about, what do I put them level with? Here, have you've I got, done that right? You've got to go level with your eyes or you wouldn't have your glasses in the right place. <laughs> 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 yeah, so. Well, yours aren't in the right place. <laughs> so, so, if I put my glasses on, yeah. actually, where do my ears come in relation to my face? Well, almost like normal people's. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, so your ears, as Russell said, so you can wear your glasses, your ears come level, sort of somewhere between your eyebrows and your nose. All right? Now, just a few little extra tips to remember, okay? When you come to draw, you don't need to just dive in with a felt pen like I have. It was a good question that Russell asked about sort of planning it out with a pencil first, all right? When you've planned it out with a pencil and you know what you're doing, then you can commit to the drawing. So don't rush in like that. Another thing is, really look, when you're drawing something, don't just think, oh, Debbie said you've got to do it like that. Just really look and think, well, yeah, I'm drawing an oval, but my mum's got a much thinner face and my dad's got a slightly wider face. You've learned the basic principles here. But when you move on a bit, you will learn that you can alter it to suit the person. So at the moment, this is just basic bog standard. But as we move on and as we improve, you'll be able to change it and alter it to suit the person. OK? So hopefully today you've learnt the basics of where things go in the face. You've learnt lots of little extra tips like where to put the eyes, 
why the mouth is higher up, don't put lines on the nose, lots of other little stuff like that. And then next week, what we're going to do is we're going to move on and we're going to talk about how to do things like draw the features, how to draw the eyes, how to draw the mouth, and so on and so forth. And then when we've had both weeks work, week one, learning the proportions, week two, learning how to draw the features, you'll be able to marry that together and you'll be the most fantastic artist. So thank you. Thank you for joining me. I'd have been really bored if I hadn't done this this morning. I'd have been drinking tea and watching the telly. So thank you very much indeed. It's snowing outside, so hopefully if it carries on, Russell's watching a, a squirrel. squirrel chase up the tree. If it carries on, you'll be able to go and have some snowballs and some fun this afternoon. Oh, but also find time to go and practice this. Take photos of your first picture and your last picture and upload them together to the website. All right. Thank you very much, everyone. Oh, hang on. Russell's put his can finger I just make a comment? You can make this, a comment, Russell. If, if they want to recap, this will still be available to watch again. Ah. And it'll also be on YouTube as well. So next week it will be on here and YouTube. If you want right. To it. OK. But this this video will remain on the page. And like you said, it'd be great if they could drop, drop the photographs on the comments. Right. Did you hear that? So this will be available for those who couldn't be bothered to get out of bed. Um, to watch later on. So do upload your pictures. I'm really excited to see them. And thank you. Have good fun in the snow. And I'll see you next week. Same time, same place. All right. Thanks a lot. Bye.